Hi Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of May 24th, 2021. You guys have got so much going on this week. Um, if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. If we go into an extended reading, those links will be in the description box below the video, which you will find by the black arrow below the video. Okay, now, the 26th, I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 26th, you're coming in the energy of a supermoon. Um, and, of course, we have Mercury Retro coming up on the 29th. Holiday weekend for Memorial Day weekend. This is the time frame of the unexpected. Good, bad, the ugly, all of that. So, let's see what's going on for my Aries. Now, it's time to relax. Time to take a sigh of relief. It's also time to make decisions. And I think this is regarding... A person or persons that is using you or taking advantage of you. Um, something that you need to put your foot down on. There's going to be decisions there. And I think it's stemming from something in the past. Maybe a lesson you've learned from them in the past. Um, get ready for a fast pace. For whatever reason, a Scorpio energy is jumping out here. But overall, I'm seeing a new emotional path, but not a bad path. So, let's take a look. All right, Aries. We start with... The Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Happy union. Gathering of two people. That applies whether you're single or a couple. Ooh, with the sun. And the sun, of course, brings in golden opportunities. And it also lets you know the sun shines brightly in all that you do. Now, with that, I've got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, a couple of things going on here. First of all, you are restored financially or you've regained your financial balance. But you're also going to have the opportunity to help someone else out. And you've got to decide whether you're going to do it monetarily or if you're going to do it with your time and energy. Up next, we have the Four of Pentacles. Wise financial decisions, wise investments. Uh, for some of you, you're investing in property. Uh, specifically, I'm seeing camper, so that resonates with someone out there. And in the center of the card reading, we have that Eight of Swords, Aries. This is the card of self-imposed restrictions. All right. I know at the beginning I said I can see you relaxing, but this is the card of holding yourself back. No one's holding yourself back but you. Be mindful of that as you progress through your week. Now, we have the High Priestess. It says you're grounded, you're centered, you're making wise decisions, but any delays that occur this week are actually in your favor. And moving forward with that, we have justice. Justice being served, justice in your favor. For some of you, you are actually going to be signing some legal documents. Normally, I would warn against signing anything during retro. However, this is a high vibration, very positive time in retro. And when I say the unexpected, it's going to be really good. So join me Wednesday night. We'll learn more about that. Okay. Now, you have the Three of Swords coming in as a warning. Third person, I want advice and or opinions. Somebody's in your business. Bottom line. Two of Wands, future travel plans. You're getting ready to travel. For some of you, it's by water, not by boat, but like visiting water, like visiting a lake, river, ocean, something like that. Okay. All right. Let's clarify. Let's keep going here. Like I said, there's just, it's a lot going on. In a short time frame, but it's all good, too. All right, Aries, on top of that Two of Cups, the Hangman energy. You're feeling stuck. You're not stuck. Look at that uh, light around his head. Can you see that? Let me get the card. There we go. The camera will focus on it. Okay? It says when you're still, this is when your best ideas come. This is when the best of you comes out. So that going back to that relaxing, take some time for yourself, be still. Okay, on top of the sun card, look at there, ten of pentacles, new money. New money coming into play. Also want to throw out there to you, that is the highest money card in the deck. Beside that, the six of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. Okay, Aries, get excited. Financially, that's not a problem for you. That's financial independence. Money coming in. It could be tied to this justice card. This could be... um contracts, refinances, loans, things of that nature, but definitely financial stability. On top of the Four of Pentacles, I have the Queen of Swords, someone with a sharp tongue, someone who kind of may beat up or lash out at you guys. Um, 
Eight of Swords energy comes in with the Page of Cups. Unexpected offer. For some of you, it's going to be an unexpected offer. Love. I want also want to throw out a Pisces. May resonate. And the Divine Timing card on that High Priestess. With that, yeah, it's about the money. Seven of Pentacles, working, gaining. For some of you, it's time for raises and or promotions. Uh, could be second jobs, but definitely going well for my areas and the finances. Okay, on justice, we have the fool. Be warned of foolish decisions. Plain out and simple, very simple, particularly regarding travel. Three of Swords energy comes in with the magician. There it is. It overrides everything. It overrides your entire spread. Highest card in the tarot deck. This is yes. This is your yes answer. You get everything you want and desire. It's right there on the table before you. And with the Two of Wands energy, there is the Seven of Cups. Everything coming into you, you have manifested and you will continue to manifest. So keep your thoughts, energy, positive. Bonus card for the center, the Emperor. Dominant, take control type person. Someone that comes in to save the day. Okay. Aries, you've got a beautiful reading here. I have no need to extend this. I think, you know, the magician, the emperor, everything is here. It is lined up for you. Um, like I said, you've got a lot going on. Super moon, retro, Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, JackieJomlin.com for psychic readings. I'll see you guys soon.